Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Chris RD Gymnastics Music Sports Channel. We welcome you all to the one meter springboard preliminary during the European Games 2023. We will be seeing a lot of divers during this preliminary round. Enjoy watching and thank you very much. Do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel. Thank you. A little bit high, to, very high to his somersaults there. And we have here from Greece, he got 31.2. Isaac Boiser of Norway in her first round. Very good dive from Isaac Boisler. He has a very good control in his somersaults. The next diver we have is from Georgia, Ross Steven Haslem. He will do will have a 2.9 level of difficulty in his inward flying one in one half somersaults. Good job from Georgia. Ross, he got 60.9 score in his first dive. The next diver that we had is from Germany. Alexander Jandu will have a 2 and one half somersaults, 3.0 level of difficulty in his first dive. Alexander of Germany got 40.5 in his first dive. Next divers from Czech Republic. That's Josef Hugo Sores. He, he did a forward two and one half somersaults with 2.6 level of difficulty for that dive. Josef Hugo Sores. Rage. Scores for a, for a Hamburg Czech diver, especially since he did a very easy dive. I mean, Czech diver got 49.4 score. Moving on to our next diver from Serbia, Nikola Varausik will have a 3.1 level of difficulty in his three and one half somersaults. A little bit delay for his dive here. That the judges use to send their scores. Yeah, there has been a correction of the scores for uh, Josef Sores. Coming now to the dive of the man from Serbia. Again, well, we welcome Nikola. Para Usek, inward two and one half somersaults, three point one level of difficulty. But in the final, very good job from Serbia. Nikola performing his inward, not too bad. Just didn't get all the way straight in the entry. So like Great top. Um, it's a good entry. Lorenzo Marsaglia won, but the important part 
Nikola Parausek of Serbia got 49.6 score in his first dive. Moving on from Austria, Dariush Lotfi will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in his back two and one half somersaults. From Austria. Got the last part for the final last year, 314 was very good dive from Danilo of Austria. Darius of Austria, very good, congratulations from Georgia. We have Irakli Sakandi Ledsi will have a 2.6 level of difficulty. Good job for his forward 2 in 1 half somersaults. Well, we saw before, uh, Lofty, a back and half somersault that is the pike position. Good entry. Irakli got 42.9 score. We welcome the man of Croatia, Matej Neveskanin, 2.6 level of difficulty. Great job for his spike position of forward 2 and 1 half somersaults. 16 years old, very young. The man from Croatia got 57.2. From Ukraine, Danilo Konovalov will have a 2.6 level of difficulty for his dive. Good job for his spike position of forward two and one half somersaults. It's a little bit side to his hurdle. Danilo of Ukraine got 58.5 score. Jules Boyer of France, one of the favorite of YouTube. He got 3.1 level of difficulty for this dive. That's good. Very good for his inward two and one half somersaults in duck tuck position. Danilo, sorry, it's Jules Matteo Boyer of France. Jules Boyer of France got 69.75 score for his dive. The youngest diver that we have is from Lithuania. His name is. Martinez Lisaukas he will have a 2.4 level of difficulty for his dive. Martinez Lisaukas of Lithuania. Good job, it's a good dive for his inward two and one half somersaults. Lithuania got 44.4 score. Congratulations. We now have here the Spanish, Spanish man, Adrian. Adrian Abadilla Garcia of Spain will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for his dive. Inward two and one half somersaults, Spain. Good job for the man of Spain. Yes, he came out a little bit too early for that kind of somersaults. He got 49.6 score for that dive. From France, Alexis Jandard. Great job for 3-3 three, three in war 3 and 1 half somersaults in the top position. Uh, 
Alexis Jandard got 65.1 score for that dive. Next divers, we have from Sweden. Elias Lars Petersen will have a 2.3 level of difficulty. He'll do a back to in one half somersaults. From Sweden. That is a good job for him. Beautiful dive. The pike position is beautiful. A good entry. A little bit separation in the legs during the entry. Elias got 44.85 score for that dive. We have here from Austria. It's a good job. Very good twisting. That is very sharp in the air and he performed it perfectly. From Austria, he got 54.6. Moving on, it's, it's our diver from Poland, Andrzej. Reshotek will have a 2.9 level of difficulty and will do an inward flying with one and one half somersaults. Flying in, it would be in the pike position. That is a good job from Austria. And his score from Poland got 56.55. Moving on to our next diver from Switzerland. J. Fabian Denis Stepinski will have a 2.6 level of difficulty. Good work for his forward to in one half somersault. Good job. From Switzerland, he got 53.3. Moving on from our diver from Sweden, David Mattis Ekdale will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive. He will do a back two and one half somersaults. Oh, a little bit of arcing there. Good strength. Attack position is very good. Yeah, quite short. Arcing is there. And his score here. will have a 40.5 score for his dive. Moving on for our next diver from Ukraine, Isanislav Olifercik, 3.1 level of difficulty. The tuck position is good in his inward two and one half somersaults. Very good. Uh, the top part is very high. Good, good. First dive for him, and I can tell you right away we will have a little delay most likely right now because on the full screen. Okay, then big Ukraine for his score here. He got 62.0 score. Sanislav Olifershek. 
Moving on for our next divers from Ireland, Jake Passmore will have a 3.2 level of difficulty for this dive. Good job! That is a beautiful dive for Jake Passmore. In his forward two and one half somersaults job, with one whole twist. Six and a half, some of his scores number. Total score is 62.4 for Jake Passmore of Ireland. Moving on, it's from Georgia. 2.6 level of difficulty for that dive. That's a good execution for his entry. Waiting for his score. He got 54.6 for that dive from Georgia. We welcome diver from Italy. Giovanni Tocci will have a 2.6 level of difficulty in his forward 2 and one half somersaults. The pipe position is good for Giovanni Tocci for his forward 2 and one half somersaults. One of the best diver of Italy, he got 63.7 for that dive. Moving on for our the man of Germany, Moritz Linus Westman, will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Back two and one half somersaults. Back position is good. That is a great job from Germany. Moritz of Germany got 55.5 score. Lorenzo Malagsalia, one of the best. Diaper of Italy will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for his inward two and one half somersaults. Two and a half somersault double twist, and maybe even the forward three and a half somersault pike because I've seen him do that. Let's move on to last year's silver medalist Lorenzo Mazzaglia for two and a half somersault tuck. A good talk. That is a good job from Lorenzo Maragsalia of Italy. He always plays on the top 12. Not, the best in two and a half <laughs> not that best. He got 60.45 score in that dive. Moving on to our next diver from Greece. Chofilos. Aftenos will have a 2.3 level of difficulty. Back one and one half somersaults. Good job. Uh, that is a good job for him. Tiofenlos got 47.15 score. From Switzerland, Jonathan Sokko, long time he is diving and competing. 3.1 level of difficulty for this dive. Inward two and a half somersault tuck for the Columbia University graduate. Good 
job. That is an inward two and one half somersaults in the pike position. Very high and fast in the somersaulting. He had a, quite a mistake in the entry when he came out. He oh, the entry is a little bit deviated on the left. Got 49.6 score there for Jonathan Sokol of Switzerland. From Romania, 2.3 level of difficulty. So five and a half for him, 49.60, and this dive could have been much, much better. Alexandru Avaziloe now from Bucharest. Back one half, some of Pike. Nice entry. Nice entry. The, the come out could have been uh, tighter with the score. Here, when he came out, he arched a little bit too much. A little bit arcing to that. Reaching back is a very easy dive. It should have been uh, lined up uh, straighter. Romania Alexandro got 42.55 score. From Great Britain, we have here James Philip Hetley. He will do a 3.2 level of difficulty in his forward two and one half somersaults with one hole twisting. That's a good hurdle from Great Britain. James. James Philip Hetley got 66.6 6 score. Moving on from Cook. Poland, Kakper Leszak will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for his inward 2 and 1 half somersaults. An inward 2 and 1 half somersault duck. The duck position is good and his entry is beautiful. Let's the legs get in the water still short, all the way vertical, get in the water. You see it here, he comes out, never gets straight. That's why he looks quite short. Kakfer got 55.8 score for that dive. Moving on to our next diver from Spain, Alberto Arevalo Alcon will have a 2.6 level of difficulty. It's forward to in one half somersaults. That is very beautiful and good execution. Alberto got 58.5 score from the judges. 7.5, 7.0, 6.5 are his scores after the first round. We are now on the second round from Greece. Good job. This thing is beautiful, no leg separation. Athanasius of Greece got 46.8 score in that dive. Moving on from the diver of Norway, Isaac Borslane will have a 3.1 level of difficulty. Isaac Borslane from Norway now, inward 2.5 somersault. That is a very good dive for Isaac Borslane with his tuck position in his inward two and one half somersaults. The tuck is good, good entry. Isaac Borslane got 55.8 for that second round. 
we welcome here from Great Britain, Ross Stephen Haslam with a 3.0 level of difficulty. Very strong British diver. He does a good job. That is a good job for Ross Stephen Haslam. Very good for his back two and one half somersaults. For a preliminary round, six, six and a half, six point zero, seven and a half, seven point zero are his scores. Total score is fifty four point zero. He got five and a half score also. From Germany, we have your Alexander Jan Luby, three point zero level of difficulty. That is reverse two and one half somersaults. A beautiful dive for Alexander Jan Doby of Germany. Alexander Jan Doby got 45.0 score, 5.0, 5.5 are his scores from the judges. From Chef Czech Republic, Joseph Hugo Sorage, 3.1 level of difficulty. Oh, a little bit some mistakes there. Yeah, that's a way bit too far over for Joseph Hugo Sorage. Could be a low score. He got 35.65 score for that dive. Moving on it's from Serbia. Nikola will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, that's a good, well executed tuck position for his forward 3 and 1 half somersaults. Nikola para Usik. Of Serbia. Nikola Parausik of Serbia got 45.0 score in that dive. We welcome here the man or diver from Austria, Darius Lotfi. Austrian Darius Lotfi will have 3.0 level of difficulty for his reverse 1 and 1 half somersaults with 2 and 1 half twisting. Uh, another good dive. Very good that is a very good dive for Austria. Good rhythm from the hurdle. And he got 52.5 score for Darius Lotfi. We welcome here from Georgia, 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive. Oh, some mistakes for Iraqi there. Iraq Lee of Georgia got 34.5 score for that dive. Welcome here from Croatia, Matej Neveskanin, 3.0 level of difficulty. That is a forward 3 and 1 half somersaults. Uh, some mistakes there, lot of room for improvement. He got 34.5 score for that dive. One of the best divers in Europe from Ukraine, Danilo Konovalov. Danilo Konovalov will have a 3.1 level of difficulty in his inward 2 and 1 half somersaults. Good jump. 
Attack position is good. He get a good entry there. Great execution from Danilo Konovalov. 65.1 score for that second dive. Jules Boyer. Jules Matteo Boyer of France. 3.0 level of difficulty for his forward. 3 and 1 half somersaults. Wow, a very good dive. The attack position in the revolution is very fast for his forward 3 and 1 half somersaults for Jules Matteo Boyer. So this could have gone much, much better with the low scores for him. 48 total points. Jules Mateo Boyer got 48.0 score for that dive. The youngest diver from Lithuania, Martinas, Martinas Lisauskas, 2.6 level of difficulty. Nicely done. Good job, and that is a nicely uh, done for him. A, Forward 2 and 1 half somersaults for Martinas Lisauskas. Entry, not that strong, is very young and uh, still quite tiny to be a one meter sprint. and Martinez de Saucas got 49.4 score for that second dive from Spain Adrian Ab Abadia Garcia 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive here he's very young man Martinez Adrian Abadia he did a forward three and one half somersault That is a, a, a fair dive for Adrian Abadia Garcia. He got 49.5 score. Jules Mateo Boyer of France. Sorry, Alexis Jandard of France. 3.0 level of difficulty. <laughs> Gonna mix up with Jules and Alexis. That is a good dive from Alexis Jandard of France. He did a forward three and one half somersault. The, see again, once again, the, the diver dips the board in the water. And uh, perfect entry. He got 64.5 score for Alexis Jandard. Moving on, a diver from Sweden, Elias Lars Petersen. 3.0 level of difficulty for Elias. Oh, that's a very good reverse one and one half somersaults with two and one half twisting. The vertical line is a little bit just uh, some needs for improvement. 57.0 score for that second dive. Moving on from Austria, Nikolaj Schaller will have a 2.6 level of difficulty for his forward 2 and 1 half somersaults. Nikolaj Schaller of Austria. That is a very good dive for Nikolaj Schaller. That is a good job for him. You just need to work on with his vertical lines upon his entry. He got 54.6 score here from the judges. Moving on from Poland. Andrzej Reszetek. We have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his forward. 2 and 1 half somersaults. Top two scores and the that level. is a very good dive from Poland. Polska. We 
Waiting for his score here. 66 and a half, 7 points here, 62 points here score for Andrzej Rzeszczek of Poland. We have here from Switzerland, Fabian Denis Stepanski. 3.1 level of difficulty for this dive. Inward 2 and 1 half somersaults. Tuck positions for his inward two and one half somersaults. Of course, there's a lot room for improvement for that. Swiss diver, he when he's when it's time to jump, instead of finishing the, the push on the board, the, the jump, the extension of the knees, he picks up his knees. So he's from Switzerland, he got 49.6 score for that dive. Moving on from Sweden, David Matthias. We'll have a 3.0 level of difficulty reverse to and half somersaults. No, this is a forward. Yeah, reverse to and half somersaults. That is a strong jump for the diver of Sweden. Very nice height. David Matias got 40.5 in that dive. Moving on from Ukraine. Good job for the Ukrainian. Not that excellent dive, but it's beautiful. Too much wide for his stock position. He got here 54.0 for Ukraine, Sanislav. Moving on for the diver of Ireland, Jake Passmore. 3.1 level of difficulty for this dive. Jake Passmore of Ireland. Very good job for Jake Passmore. He did that inward two and one half somersaults for that dive. Most of his, his scores are six, 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 six and a half. Five and a half. He got 55.0. 55.8 for that dive. Moving on, the diver from Georgia, Tornik Onikasvili, will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for this dive. That's good dive for Tornik of Georgia. Inward, two and one half somersaults, that's what he did. Tornik of Georgia got 60.45 scores here. Giovanni Tocci of Italy will have a 3.2 level of difficulty for this dive. Wow, such an exceptional dive for Giovanni Tocci of France. The forward two in one half somersault spike. Very tight muscles. He got a very good score here, 67.2 for that dive for Giovanni Tocci. From Germany, the bronze medal last year, Moritz Linus Wesseman. 3.0 level of difficulty for. His second dive. Wow, very good height and the tuck position is very good. He got a very fast revolution. Moving on from Germany, 
Yeah, very too much side in the hurdle. But the somersaulting is perfect. Uh, he got 67.5 score for that dive. 7.5, 7.0 scores on the judges. Lorenzo Maragsalia of Italy. 3.0 level of difficulty for his next dive. And another dive. That is a very okay dive. A fair dive for Lorenzo Magsalia. Lorenzo Magsalia got 57.0 score. Moving on from the Diver of Greece, Jofelos Aftenos will have 2.6 level of difficulty in his forward. Two and one half somersaults. That's how he seems to be performing throughout the preliminary rounds here in the session. That is a good job for Teofilos Aftinos. The pike position is good and a very strong muscle, pike body. He got 52 points to score here. From Switzerland, Jonathan Sacco will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in this forward 3 and 1 half somersault. Jonathan Sacco of Switzerland. Jonathan Sukov, after the mistake on the inward 10 half somersault attack. Oh, very fast revolution in his stack position. Nice job, Jonathan. We'll see it from the slow motion. He's very similar to the Most of his scores are 6.0, 7.0, and he got 54.0 score here for Jonathan. Moving on from Diver of Romania, Alexandro. Oh, some mistakes there. Uh, the hurdle is not that a little bit. Yeah, not that best jump. He got 40.5 score for Alexandro Avasilo of Romania. Moving on from Great Britain, we have here James Philip Hetley. 3.0 level of difficulty in his reverse. One and one half summer souls with two and one half twisting. From Germany. Sorry. From Great Britain. Sorry, I'm gonna mixing it up. Forgive me. Thank you very much. He has a good job there. He did a very good dive. 60.0 score from Great Britain. Moving on from the Poland. Poland diver. We have Kashfir Lesiek. 3.0 level of difficulty. Get back within the top 12. Very good job for his forward. 3 and 1 half somersaults. Kashfir Lesiek of Poland. Quite distant. Six, 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 five and a half are his scores from the judges. And we have here 54 points here score for that second round. From España, Alberto Arevalo Alcon, 3.0 level of difficulty for his second dive. And the second dive, the last diver of the event, 
I'm sure that Casper wants to... That's good. That's forward. Three and one half summer souls is a die that he did. The attack position is good. Very strong. Tight muscles. The entry is good also. Alberto got 57.0 score in this dive. Rankings after the second round. Moving on to our third round. We now have here from Greece. 3.0 level of difficulty. Good job. He did a reverse 2 and 1 half somersaults. Attack position is good. Just change board. Athanasius got 49.5 score here. 5.5, 5.0 are his scores. From Norway, Isaac Borslane. We have 3.0 level of difficulty. Forward, 3 and 1 half somersaults. That's very good tack position. His forward, 3 and 1 half somersaults. Very strong diver from Norway. Isaac Borslain got 54.0 score in that third round. We welcome here the man of Great Britain, Ross Teben Haslam. 3.2 level of difficulty for his third dive. Around average. Ross Haslam. Forward two and a half somersault full twist. That is a very good forward two and one half somersaults with one whole full twisting and pike position. Very tight muscles. Good entry. All the way to I'd say top top six with with his dive. Maybe not top six, but definitely top eight. He got seventy two points here. Score here. From Great Brit, from Germany, Alexander Jan Dube, 3.0 level of difficulty. That tack position in his revolution is very nice. Forward three and one half somersaults. It's a dive that he did. Very, very clean dive for Germany in his third round, Alexander Jan Dube. He got 58.5 score in his third dive. From Czech Republic, Joseph Hugo Sorg. Gas 2.5 level of difficulty for this dive. Very nice. Back. He did a back 1 in 1 half somersaults with 1 in 1 half twisting. Extremely high. It's a, it's a very it's just a fair height for his dive from the hurdle. From Czech Republic, he got 42.5. Joseph Hugo Sorage. From Serbia, Nikola Parao sick for his third dive. 3.0 level of difficulty. They need to wait for the spring work. Oh, uh, that's a big mistake. <laughs> Reverse two and one half somersaults is the thing that he did. He does not do that. Very difficult from that kind of hurdle on this reverse two and a half somersault that lands way too short on his back. He did an 18, he got an 18 point zero score for that dive. He missed most of his scores. It's a missed dive for him. We have here from Austria, Darius Lotfi, 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive. Darius Lotfi now, forward 3.5 somersault. Talk. Oh, wow. oh, a little bit mistakes for that. He did a forward 3 and one half somersaults. Right, it was his right foot was 
over the side and he landed in front of the other so that's um very unfortunate he, was not doing a he will lose his course here because he, would have he get 37.5 score for that but it's a good job more room for improvement for Dariush. from georgia Irakli Sakan Diled C will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for his third dive. It was 31st big mistakes before in for him in the previous two rounds. He were to have somersault attack. Good one. Good job. He did an inward two in one half somersaults in the attack position. Not fast enough. He doesn't pick up any speed in the somersault. Um, a little bit bad form. <laughs> But uh, there's a lot of room for improvement for him. He got 46.5 score here. We welcome the man of Croatia. Matej Neveskanin will have 3.0 level of difficulty. Wow, 3.0 level of difficulty for that reverse 2 in 1 half somersaults. Good job. Seems like he dips the springboard too much. So Wait, the camera angle is focusing the on the nipples. Response as he wished on the takeoff. A little Some bit short, but uh, not tight body. The problem is the vertical lines for the entry. 54.0 score for Matej of Croatia. The diver from Ukraine, the great diver, the great legend Danilo Konovalov will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. That is a very good job for Danilo. He did a forward three and one half somersault. Also, our excellent dish you get seven, seven and a half maybe. Great revolution. Like the position in the air and the time management of the car. Danilo Konovalov got sixty-three point zero score here. Seven, six point five, seven point five scores from the judges. Jos Mateo Boyer of France, 3.2 level of difficulty for this dive. And Jules Boyer now forward to now some of five foot Very nice and very beautiful dive. It's a perfect dive for Jos Mateo Boyer. He did a forward two and one half somersaults with single twisting. Nice, uh, nice twisting position and a great entry. High scoring dive for Jules. Very good score. 68.8 for Jules. 7, 7.5. The very young man here. The youngest of all diver. Martinas Lisau Lisauskas. Difficulty of 3.1 for this dive. For Martinas of Lithuania. Oh, Scar. Uh, excuse me. He's in third place because he's 186.55. Inward to half somersault by That's very good. He did an inward two in one half somersaults in the pipe in the tuck position. The tuck is good and revolution is not that high, but it's very good one. Good vertical lines. He got the most out of that takeoff that was quite quite low. From Lithuania, the youngest one he got 49.6 for the third dive. From Hispania. Adrian Abadia Garcia, 3.2 level of difficulty for this dive. Let's take a look at him. Let's focus on him because he, need, he needs to recover. He's way behind. That's in very the... good for Adrian Abadia Garcia. He did a forward two and one half somersaults with whole twisting. It's above average though, for sure, because, especially because of the, of the degree of difficulty and Team Spain seems happy with his... Uh, Adrian Abadia Garcia got 59.2 score in that third round. Alexis Jandard of France, 3.2 level of difficulty for his third dive. Alexand uh, Alexis Jandard, same dive for the French diver. They have been performing the same dive so far. Great job. Alexis Jandard did a forward to and one half somersaults with one hole twisting. Almost the same. Oh, no. Maybe a little bit higher now that I see the slow motion. Better lineup. That's a good job for Alexi. Uh, I think he got a 67.2 total score here. 7.0, 6.5. 
Elias of Sweden. Wow. Mm. That is that the best dive that he has. Yeah, he got 45 points in a row. He just didn't have time to grab his hands to form the vertical lines. 1.0 meter is a very challenging dive. Nikolaj Schaller of Austria will have a 3.1 level of difficulty for this dive. And now we have Nikolaj Schaller in World 2.5 Somersault Tuck. It was at 109 points at 16th place. He needs a good dive to beat, and it doesn't oh, Also, it's, it's not the perfect dive, dive that we are expecting from him. He did an inward two and one half somersaults for in the top position. He have a good room for improvement for his dives. From the judges. He got 37.2 total score for that dive, 4.0. From Poland, we have here Andrzej Reszetek, 3.0 level of difficulty for his third dive. Very nice takeoff. Oh, also there is some big room for improvement for that. He did a forward three and one half somersaults for that dive. Maybe too fast. He might be not used to such a good takeoff and uh, over rotates quite a bit. Yeah, he did an over rotation for that. Five and a half from the judges. Tiny mistake. You get 49.5 score here but for that dive. From Switzerland, he will have Fabian Denis Stepensky. 2.3 level of difficulty for his back. One and one half somersaults. From now on, if he wants to be in the final, he's exactly at 56 points average. Back one and a half, oh. Somerset Pike, and not. Not, not that perfect very dive very for him, but it's a very good one. Easy, easy dives that must be almost perfect in order to be to keep up with the best divers. And this From Switzerland, he got 39.1 score here. Five and a half, six and a half, six point zero score from the judges. David of Sweden. Two and a half somersault for Ekdal, David Ekdal. That's a good forward, oh, some three and a half, some two and a half somersault. Another easy dive uh, that could have been better, but it's very high. Yeah, if you have this easy dive, you would uh, need to execute it better. That is very high jump from the hurdle. When he leaves the pike position, he lets the legs get straight way too fast, and then he swings. We got 52.0 score here for David Matis of Sweden. From Ukraine, it's an Islab Olifershik. 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive. Good job for Stinas Love. That is the back to in one half somersaults in the pike position. Nothing to say about that. Maybe could have been higher, but for a preliminary round, it's a more. Yeah, not that high jump for that dive. You got 54 points zero score there. From Ireland. Jake Passmore will have a 3.0 level of difficulty and he will do a back two and one half somersaults. Let's see how he does. Good top. Very fast in the That's somersault. good job. What kind of focusing is that? Uh, there's some bit problem with his vertical lines there. 
You got 54 points, zero total score, six and a half, six point zero scores from the judges. From Georgia, we have here Tornik Onikashvil, 3.0, level of difficulty. The diver was in uh, he was in That's a good tack position in his forward three and one half somersaults. Uh, it was a good top uh, part of the dive when he got in the water, does not get a great entry. It doesn't grab his hands, that's why, but he doesn't a... didn't have a good time to grab his hands to form the vertical line. Pity four point zero is his score. We have here from Italy, Giovanni Tocci. 3.0 level of difficulty and he will do a back two and one half somersaults Giovanni Tocci of Italy Giovanni was leading so far the competition Oh, it's a good tuck position beautiful and very strong dive for his back two and one half somersaults Giovanni Tocci got 61.5 score here in his third round. Moving on from Germany, Moritz Linus Westman will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive. Same, uh, uh, no, inward to now. The attack is beautiful and good revolution for his inward. Two and one half somersaults. But definitely too short in the entry. Comes out too early and gets in the water still in a pike position after the come out. So it's any mistake for him. Uh, Morris Linus Westman got 60.45 60. score there. And we now have here moving on from Italy. Lorenzo Maragsalia, the best diver of Italy. 3.0 level of difficulty and he will do a reverse two and one half somersaults oh, beautiful. That is a beautiful dive beautiful landing no water splash for Lorenzo Maragasalia there That is a very strong kick from Lorenzo. He got 64.5 score here. From Athens, Greece, Theophilus at Athenos in his third round. 2.6 level of difficulty. Mm, very big mistake for his dive of reverse one and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting. That's Theophilus Athenus of Athens, Greece. He got 15.6 score here. From, the judges. From Switzerland, we have your Jonathan Sokko. 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive. One of the good divers of Europe. One of the best diver in Europe, Jonathan Sacco. That's a good dive from Jonathan Sacco, and he did a tuck position for back two and one half somersaults. It does not manage to. Yeah, the vertical line is not that perfect. He got here 54.0 score for Jonathan Sacco. From Romania, Alexandro Avasilo. 3.0 level of difficulty. At the moment, low average. Reverse one half somersault for Alexandro. Very good job for Alexandro Avasilo of Romania. Alexandro was in 2.0. 
28th place. Too many mistakes in the previous rounds. And uh, he's... He's a little bit division to the right. Alexandro got 54.0 in that dive. Welcome the diver from Great Britain, James Philip Hetley, 3.0 level of difficulty for this dive. Another dive. Whoa, this is a big mistake. Uh, that's a big mistake for that for James Philip Hetley. Yes, feet are complete on the side and over the end. Yeah, that's the problem. James Philip Hetley got 39 points to score in that third round. Moving on for the diver of Poland. Kashpir Lishek, 3.0 level of difficulty for Kashpir. That's a good job for Kashpir. Kasper got 3.0 level of difficulty for that reverse 2 and 1 half somersaults. The tuck position is good and also he got a good time to grab his hands to form his vertical lines. It's not that perfect, more room for improvement but it's a good dive. Kashper Leshek got 54.0 score here. From Hispania. Alberto Arevalo Alcon, back to and a half somersault tuck. This is third dive. Very good well tuck position. Very well executed from a Spanish diver. Position of the somersault. Uh, he does a great job arching and getting completely vertical. Yeah, that's some arcing there. Not good vertical lines. Alberto Arevalo, Alcon got 58.5 score for that third round. And we now have here the, the standings after the third round. Moving on now to our fourth round. From Athanasius of Greece, he will have a 2.4 level of difficulty in his dive. Yeah, as of now, um, new sets of judges now for the fourth round. Athanasius of Greece. That's good for his inward to even half somersault spike positions. Good job for Athanasius of Greece. Athanasius of Greece, he got 6.5 to point zero scores from the judges. Athanasius of Greece got 46.8 score here. Isaac Borslein of Norway in his fourth round will have a 3.0 level of difficulty and he will do a reverse to and half somersaults. Round reverse to and half somersault tuck. Another that's a fair dive for Isaac Borslein with his reverse to even have somersaults in pike positions. Very young, uh, talented diver. This is his first time to join the senior level. Isaac Borslein got 58.5 score here, 6.5, 7.0 scores from the judges. Great Britain, Ross Steven Haslam will have a 3.5. 3 level, level of difficulty for his forward, 3 in one half somersaults. It's Rusty Ben Haslam of Great Britain. Wow. 
Good job for our man of faith retain. This low motion, how it wasn't even, it, it wasn't all the way in the pack position here. You see with the, with the hands on the hips. The timing of the grabbing hands is really as a challenge for one meter splat, uh, springboard. We got here 64.35 score for Ross Steven Haslem of Great Britain. Moving on to our next diver from Germany, Alexander Jan Lube. 3.1 level of difficulty for his fourth dive. Let's see. Good job for Alexander Jan Lube. 3.1 level of difficulty for that inward two and one half somersaults a good job Lining it up. although not that good height um, not good timing to grab his hands from the vertical line good job but still a good job 60. alexander janlu got 65.1 score that fourth dive from czech republic we have here joseph hugo sorgis Joseph Hugo will have a 2.3 level of difficulty for his fourth dive. Oh, and the pike position is good and some just f problem with his vertical line. He did a back one and one half somersault. Came out, he reached too far back with his hands. And uh, reached too far back with his hands. So something in arcing. Five and a half. And, he's a low scoring and the Czech Republic diver got 36.8. Joseph Hugo Sorage. Moving on from Serbia, Nikola Parausik. 2.3 level of difficulty for this dive. Fair dive for his back one and one half somersaults. Um, Joseph was over, he over rotated, and uh, instead Nicola ends up being way so a little bit over rotated for Joseph here. On his back, just 28 points on this dive for Nicola. He got Nicola Prosek got 28.7 scores there. For our Australian diver, we have here Darius Lotfi, 3.0 level of difficulty for this fourth round. Off timing on the board. Uh, uh, Darius of Austria got did a reverse two and one half somersaults for that dive. It's a good um, time to grab his hands to form his vertical lines. He got 42.0 score here. Darius Lotfi. We have here from Georgia, Irakli Sakandiledzi. 3.0 level of difficulty from the Georgian. Good job for the Georgian. He did the forward, 3 and 1 half somersaults. Time to get straight. It just doesn't get straight, so he passes the. Yeah, it's not that straight line, and also the vertical line. It's really a challenge for him to form. Thirty-seven point five score here. He has a good smile, <laughs> a happy smile here. From Croatia, Mateo Naves Naves Kanin will have a three point zero level of difficulty for this dive. That's a and fair dive for his reverse one and one half summer souls with two and one half twisting. Strong on the board. Completely in the water with the springboard. We see it here on the twist and I love the, the dive here of Matej Nivescanin of Croatia. He got 55.5 score here. 6.5, 7.0 score from the judges. From Ukraine, Danilo Konovalov. 3.0 level of difficulty. He is also a world champion. Two in one half somersaults. A world champion finalist for Danilo Konovalov of Ukraine. For the Ukrainian diver. 
Best a fair dive for his 3.0 level of difficulty for his pack 2 and 1 half somersaults. A good job with this dive. Uh, almost completely vertical. Probably Jesse's arms do not fit. Yeah, almost completely vertical for that dive. We have he got 58.5 score here for the Nino Kalnavalov. From France, Jules Mateo Boyer will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for this dive. Second place and Jules Boyer now, same dive for him. Beautiful, entry. beautiful dive and beautiful entry for Jules Mateo Boyer. He got he did a back to and one half somersaults in that dive. 3.0 level of difficulty for these tough positions of dive. Especially, like I said, the entry is very, very clean. Just the feet slightly over. 61 point. Got 61.5 score here for Jules Mateo Boyer. The youngest of the diver, Martinez Laus Lisokas, will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his fourth dive. This is very close to the board. Oh, very good dive for his reverse to and one half somersaults for Martinez de Saucas. From here, some of the judges raised their hands. His feet was, were on the side. He pulled back. Luckily, he was on in between the two boards. It was far to the right side. Even that, even though it, that happened, uh, I see a couple of judges raising their hands. That means that. I thought it was a dangerous dive. Yeah, it was a very dangerous dive. It was dangerous. They said. Too close. It's too much close. Board. The so second board. My position, I can only see four judges. One on the right side. Of he did a very dangerous dive one there, one I hope. There's uh, a good room for improvement for his dive, I but he is uh, near to have a... near to have an accident for that dive. Two's from all the judges, 18 points here scored there. He loses his score because that is a very dangerous dive. Adrian Abadilla Garcia of Spain. He's a great dive. And oh, that tuck position is beautiful and good revolution. Just love his nice earrings here. <laughs> the tuck is good and very tight muscles, tight core. He has a good reaction from his coaches, and indeed, it was a good dive. He got 55.5 score for Adrian Abadilla Garcia of España. From France, Alexis Jandar. 3.0 level of difficulty for Alexis here. I just love the color of the speed of his friends. Leader so far. The uh, revolution in stock position is good. Alexi got he did a back two and one half somersaults in that dive. Very, very strong off the board, very high. Again, another entry that could be cleaner. Slightly over in this case. Six Alexi Jandard had a 57.0 score from the judges. Sweden, we now have here Elias, Lars, Pettersson. We'll have a 3.0 level of dif difficulty for his fourth round. Forward three and a half somersault tuck. And oh, that is a very good forward three and one half somersaults. And I love his stock positions here. Yes, we saw from this side on this the revolution is good, oh, and go. he doesn't have a good timing to grab his hands to form the vertical lines. It will be the deductions. Uh, so 39.0 score from the judges for in half 5.0 individual scores. From Austria, we have here Nikolaj Schaller, 3.0 level of difficulty for his fourth round. Same dive for Nicola, Nikolai. A good top. 
good tack position there. The forward three and one half somersaults is fair. Great job from Austrian. But he doesn't get a great entry, unfortunately for him. Yeah, the entry is not that beautiful. <laughs> He got 39.0 score here for that fourth round. 4.0 for and a half scores on the judges. From Poland, we have now here Andre Reshutek. 3.0 level of difficulty for his fourth round. Uh, I was checking the development of the competition and I was checking who is in 12th place right now is Lotfi. But we still have too many people still to go to give you an average right now. Back to now, summer soft talk for Andre. That is a very good, that 3.0 level of difficulty, nicely done in his back, to and one half somersaults in the tuck position. The tuck is good, revolution is nice, good height, good timing to grab his hands to form his vertical lines before his entry. Great job. This is really a good execution in the air, 58.5 score from the judges. Moving on from Switzerland, Fabian Demi Stepanski, 3.0 level of difficulty. Big mistake on this hurdle. Oh yeah, indeed a big mistake for his hurdle. He got he did a reverse two and one half somersaults, but the good thing is he is fine. Yeah, the vertical line is not that tight, but he has a good room for improvement. 45.0 score from the judges, 5.5, 5.5 scores from the judges here. From Sweden, we have David Matis Ekdal, 3.3 level of difficulty for his fourth round. David Ekdal, forward 3.5 somersault. That is a very good forward 3.5 somersault for David Ekdal. A lot of mistakes before this round of dives, but it'll for sure. The pike position is good, and also the entry. Good thing he got a good time to for, to grab his hands to form the vertical line. For him, three point two degree of difficulty, one hundred thirty three. He was at one hundred thirty three points after three dives, and he'll score. He scores. David Matis Ekdal got sixty seven point sixty five score from the judges here. From Ukraine, we have Isanislav. Well, the fair check will have a 3.0 level of difficulty reverse to when to when half somersaults for that dive. Very good Slightly job. By Stanislav. Uh, the hurdle was uh, too far inside the board. He jumped on the hurdle and went backwards instead of forward. Uh, uh, not that good that vertical lines for that dive. Made him lose a little bit of timing on the come out. Came out too late. He got 51.0 score here, 5.5, 5.5, 6.0 and 6 scores on the judges. We have here the Irish diver, Jake Passmore, 3.3 level of difficulty for his forward 3 and 1 half somersaults. Jake Passmore now forward, 3.5 somersault pike for, uh, for the young uh, Irish diver. There the pike position is good, yeah, nice entry, uh, very good job for Jake Passmore. Six and a half, six and a half, six points through scores on the judges, and it is a good score. He got 67, 62.7 scores on the judges. Jake Fassmore. Moving on, Diver from Georgia. Very easy dive for him. He was 11. Oh, that's a good uh, back one and a half somersault spike. Great executions from the Georgian diver. Quite far away from the board for such an easy dive. His knees bent in the pipe. That is a good one. Good diving. Very low scoring dive. He'll get out of top 12. The Georgian diver, Tonic Onikasvili, has a good 39.0 score. Giovanni Tocci of Italy will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his fourth dive. And 
That is a good job for Giovanni Tocci. He did a reverse to and went half, somersaults. The tuck position is nice. The feet are well placed during the hurdle. In the hurdle, it's Mateo Santoro. <laughs> the cameraman lo loves him. He got 60 points here score here for Giovanni Tocci. Maurice Linus Westman will have a 3.0 level of difficulty. With a forward 3 and 1 half somersaults. Good job for Moritz. Yeah, it's a little bit too far from the board, as was so said for the commentator. But it's a good dive. We'll have a good score here. 67.5 score from the judges, 8.0, 7.5, scores. From Italy, Lorenzo Maragsaglia will have a 3.0 level of difficulty and he will do a back 2 and 1 half somersaults. Lorenzo Maragsaglia of Italy. One of the greatest divers of Europe. Oh. Nicely done. Uh, it's a good, nicely done for the rest of Marsalia, and you see the revolution is very nice. Good job for Lorenzo Marsalia here. Overall, a very good job by the Italian diver. Lorenzo Marsalia has a 58.5 score here. Theophilos Aftinos of uh, Greece will have a 3.0 level of difficulty and he will do a inward 2 in one half somersaults for his fourth dive. Jonathan is fixing his bulge. Especially this good the job. Dive, the reverse one half somersault one half twist. And uh, Theophilos inward two and a half somersault tuck. Uh, the tuck position is good, the revolution is nice, good timing. Enough time to grab his hands to form the vertical lines here. Theophilos got 51.15 score. 5.5, 5.5, 6.0 scores from the judges. Jonathan Sokko of Switzerland will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his fourth round. Jonathan needs a great dive here. Uh, for sure. Uh, Jonathan will do a reverse 2 and 1 half somersault. Good, nicely done from Jonathan. He does a good job with that. Very good hurdle. Probably stepped in a little bit. Too much, you you hurdle as good and also the position is good. Nice entry for Jonathan. And he got 52.5 scores from the judges. Moving on from Romania, Alexandro Avisolo. Alexandro Avisolo will have a difficulty of 3.1 in ward 2 and 1 half somersaults in his fourth dive. Good job on this. That is a good job for Alexandro Avisolo of Romania. 3.1 level of difficulty. The tuck position is good and uh, not good. He's uh, grabbing his hands is um, not enough to form the vertical lines. We'll have uh, deductions for that. 55.8 scores for Alexandro. Moving on from the man of great Britain, James Philip Hetley will have a 3.0 level of difficulty for his fourth round. Back two and one half somersaults for his fourth dive. <laughs> mistake for him in the previous round oh the revolution is good and awesome dive huge mistake in the previous round for um, for james uh, he missed completely the reverse and half somersault tuck not completely but he got a six 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 and a half six and a half scores 
from the individual judges with a total score of 55.5. Jake Philip Hetley of Great Britain. Moving on from the diver of Poland, Kasper Leszek, 3.0 level of difficulty for his dive of back to and one half somersaults. Casper now back to a somersault touch as well. Oh. oh, and indeed, that is not a good dive. <laughs> not a good vertical line. So does it not perform? Maybe the, I think the flight is not enough. He open up. Maybe a low score for Casper here. 34.5 score. 35, 3.5, 4.0. A scores from the judges very low. From España, we have here Alberto Revelo Alcon, 3.2 level of difficulty for his fourth dive. Last diver. And he will go forward two and one half somersaults with full twisting. Uh, funny thing, uh, when uh, this dive is quite hard, but it's very challenging. Good job for. Alberto Arevalo Alcon. Alberto Arevalo Alcon got 57.6 scores from the judges, 5.5, 6.0 scores from the individual judges. Now, have here the standing after the fourth round. Moving on to the fifth round. For Atanasius Sirikus of Greece, 2.3 level of difficulty for his fifth round. Mm. He did a back in one and one half somersaults, but not that perfect. It's fine. The form is not good, but he can improve more for sure. Get 42.55 scores here. Isaac Borslein of Norway will have 2.3 level of difficulty for his fourth round. Back to when two and one half summer stalls for his dive. Isaac Borslein. 12th place, just within 10 points, so still anything can still happen. Man. Next up is. Uh, Isaac Borslane back on a half summer. Good job for Isaac Borslane in that dive. He got a good timing to form a vertical line for Isaac Borslane. And unfortunately for him, he has an easy back on a half summer so pike here. The pike position is good. It's an easy dive, but very clean dive. A big mistake, but it's very low degree of difficulty on this dive. Get forty one point four score here because of that low degree of difficulty. But it's a clean dive. We have he now here from the Great Britain. That's a good reverse somersaults in the pike position. That's a really Great Britain are producing a great divers. The pike position is very tight and very good. Beautiful entry. Ross Steven got 67.2 for that dive with a difficulty of 3.2. Alexandro Luby 3.2 level of difficulty for his forward one and one half somersaults with one hole twisting. Nice job. Nice job in compared to the other divers of the Euro. Germans are producing a good divers as well. Quite too far from the board, but a very high degree of difficulty of 3.2 is gonna help him get above average for sure. Good job from the German diver. Six and a half from the judges. And he got 57.6 total score here, 6.0, six and a half individual scores from the judges. The young from Czech Republic, Joseph Hugo Sorhesh, 2.4 level of difficulty for his fifth round. A uh, good job and secure dive for Joseph Hugo Sorhesh. Reverse one and one half somersaults in that round. It's an easy dive and indeed a perfect dive.
She did a 43.2 score here for Joseph Hugo. Moving on from the Serbian diver Nikola Parashik. 2.6 level of difficulty for this dive. And uh, indeed, good uh, a here. good job for his forward two and one half somersaults. Um, we see it here. He picks up very good speed uh, and a nice bike position. The entry is just not indeed a good speed His arms are not in for Nikola Prosik. Got 41.6 score here. Difficulty of 2.6 is a fair score. From Austria, in his fifth round. A lot of movement on the board for him. And a good dive. Yeah, very clean dive, very good dive from the Australian Austrian diver. The duck position is good and completely straight. To find his vertical line is good and good entry. You see a very minimal splash of waters. Darius Lutfi got 57.35 score for this round. And he's in ninth place. And now have here Irakli. Sakandi Letsi, 3.0 level of difficulty for this dive. Back to in one half somersaults. Now, Irakli. A fair dive for Irakli. His tack position is good. That's a good back to one half somersaults from Georgia. You need a combination of uh, strength and speed. Uh, that Indeed, lots of, lo lots of, and the vertical line is not good, as you can see there. He has a lot of room for improvement. He just smile. <laughs> I love his reactions here. Thirty-one point five scores total. From Croatia, we now have here Matej Neveskanin. Two point three level of difficulty for this dive. Back. To one in one half somersaults. Probably too far away from the top 12. He does a great job. That's a good uh, job for this dive from our man here. The very perfect entry. That is a textbook diving. We upload the man of Croatia, 48.3 for that dive. I love his smile here. Danilo Konovalov of Ukraine, one of the great diver of Europe. 3.2 level of difficulty for his fifth round. Reverse, two and one half somersaults. And not the best takeoff. Uh, he doesn't get much speed uh, when getting the somersault. So he's way too short. Yeah, that's a way too short to form the vertical lines. And the entry is a little bit problematic. Danilo Konovalov got 46.4 score here. 3.2 level of difficulty. 4.5, 4.5, 4.0, 5.0 score from the judges. Jose Mateo Boyer of France in his fifth round. 3.0 level of difficulty. It will do a reverse 2 and 1.5 somersaults. Jose Mateo Boyer. That's a very good dive from the French diver. He kind of he was sitting back a little too much with his hips. His feet were way behind. Still managed to get very high and. Uh, That's a very flight. high flight a from the hurdle. The very good dive diver. for Jose Mateo Boyer. For he got 66.0 score. The youngest diver in yes, this competition. Like Martinez Lisaukas of Lithuania will have a 2.3 level of difficulty for this round. Back one and one half somersaults, uh, we'll, uh, and we're ex we expecting a safe dive here. That's a good dive. Good, good, dive, okay. good dive for that 2.3 level of difficulty. Uh, the execution is technically is in the air. The movements are. 
good. Uh, it's just very, very far away, sitting back too much on the board. The vertical line is not that perfect. From the judges. Got 34.5 score here from the Lithuanian. From Spain, we have Adrian Abadia Garcia in his fifth round. 3.0 level of difficulty for his reverse, 2 and 1 half somersaults. The tack position is good, revolution is nice, and that is a textbook diving. Very clean dive, such a strong flight. Nice job, you can just see the reaction of his coaches. He got 58.5 score for that dive. Alexis Jandard will have a 3.2 level of difficulty for his fifth round. I love the pipe position, I love the revolution and the entry. You can just describe that it is divine. Very good job for the send Alexis Jandard. He got 67.2 score here from the judges in that 3.2 level of difficulty. Moving on is from Sweden. Elias Lars Peterson in his fifth dive he will do a 3.2 level of difficulty with forward two and one half somersaults with one hole twisting. Oh, not that perfect dive, but it's, it's still good. Some problem with his spike positions, and also he didn't grab his hands upon the vertical lines, but it's fine. Get 35.2 score here, 4.03 and half individual score from the judges. From Australia, we have Nikolaj Schaller, 2.3 level of difficulty for his fifth round. Back one and one half somersaults. Red speedo is a thing here. Has a, a few divers to go, so most likely will be. It's a good dive from the Austrian. Of the final today. Uh, dive is okay, it's very high, but also quite far away from the board. The lineup is correct, slightly over with the feet. Good job. It's a beautiful dive. 43.7 score from the judges with a 2.3 level of difficulty. Andrade Reshutek got 3.0 level of will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in his fifth round. Reverse two and one half somersaults. Ooh, huge mistake on the run. Yeah, there is a huge mistake in the hurdle, and you can just see in the face of the <laughs> his coaches. What's the other mistake? Yeah, putting himself at risk there. It's a risky dive. 27.0 scores from the judges. If you have a risk, very risky dive, you will have a low score. Fabian Denny Stepensky will have a 2.6 level of difficulty in his fifth round. Reverse one and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting. Although there is not a perfect vertical line, but it's a fair dive from Switzerland. Or Swedish. Dive probably too early getting in that Switzerland. That Swedish. Swedish is Sweden. He got 50.7 score here. 6 and a half, 7.0 scores from the judges. From Sweden, a Swedish diver, the name of David Mathis Ekdal, 3.2 level of difficulty. We'll step back. That is a good dive and a fair dive for his forward to and one half somersaults with one hole twisting. Get the right distance from the board because it was very far back on the hurdle. The worst thing is that it loses. That is a good job, but there's some problem with the form on the feet. 44.8 score for the fifth round. 4.0, 5.0, 4.5 scores on the judges. From Ukraine, Isanislav. 
All fair check. 3.0 level of difficulty for his fifth round. That's a good dive from the Ukrainian. Reverse one and one half somersaults. With one and one half twisting. Feet are not apart. Why he is standing? Feet are apart. Feet are not apart. Oh. 57.0 score from Stanislav. From Irish. Diver Jake Passmore now will have a 3.0 level of difficulty in his reverse 2 and 1 half somersaults. So commentator blinds telling a while ago fits are apart. Fits are not apart. The tack position is good and the entry is beautiful for Jake Passmore of Ireland. Quickly jumps up and gets and squeezes that tack position. Sit here, grabs at his shin, and lines up correctly, just a little bit short because of that mistake from the hurdle going over the end. Yeah, a little bit mistake in the hurdle, but he got a good dive here. 54.0 score for Jake Passmore. Moving on from, from our Georgian diver, Tornik Oni Kashville 3.0 level of difficulty for his fifth round. That is a good tack position, but a little bit misdive, some mistakes there. Reverse two and one half somersaults. Somersaulting dives, the inwards, the forwards, and the forwards twist. See, that's not a good vertical line, producing a lot of water splash. You get 24.0 score here, 1.5, 2.0, 3.0 scores from the judges. From France, Giovanni Tocci will have 3.0 level of difficulty in his fifth round. Forward, three and one half somersault for his fifth dive. Giovanni Tocci now, second after four arm dives. Uh, forward, three and a half somersault. Very nice take off. Oh, Very nice, and such a textbook dive for Giovanni Tocci. Is, uh, forward that forward, three and one half somersault is a well secured dive. Forward for four and one half somersaults is such a very difficult dive. A good height and the vertical line is very good. The entry is beautiful for Giovanni Tocci. Get 72 points here, score here. 8 points here, 7 points here, scores on the judges. From Moritz, Germany, Moritz Linus Westman in his fifth round, 3.2 level of difficulty. Good job for Moritz. He did a forward two and one half somersaults in with one hole twisting. Not perfect, just because it was a little bit too far from the board. But sevens from the judges, a total of sixty-seven point twenty. Good dive from the German. Sixty-seven point two scores on the judges. One of the great diver of Europe, Lorenz Monagsalia, European and world champion. 3.0 level of difficulty. Forward three and one half somersaults in this dive. This coach. Oh, what a very good revolution in the three and one half somersaults. I just love his uh, revolutions here. He got 63.0 in that fifth round for Lorenzo Maragsalia. The fifth round we have here from the Greece, Jofelos Aftinos. 3.0 level of difficulty for his reverse two and one half somersaults. Oh, some problem there. And the vertical line is not perfect. He got 33 point, 33 points your score here. From Switzerland, Jonathan Sacco, 3.0 level of difficulty for his fifth round. 
reverse one and one half summer souls with what two and one half twisting jonathan sacco switzerland that is a very fine dive very clean dive for jonathan sacco you see there is no such a water splash a very perfect dive very minimal water splash oh that's a textbook dive for jonathan sacco he got 69.0 scores from the judges moving on to the romanian diver Alexandro Avasilo, 3.0 level of difficulty. Oh, that's a good dive also for this reverse one and a half summer so. Yeah, he did not grab his hands for the vertical line there. It's a very good job for him. It's a fair dive for Alexandro. 55.5 scores from the judges. James Philip Hetley. 3.4 level of difficulty. Inward 2 in 1 half somersaults. That's good job. Waiting for a score here. Let's wait for a score. And it's got a good score. 66.3 for James Philip Hetley. We now have here from Poland. Kaspir Leszek will have a 2.6 level of difficulty in his fifth round. Forward. Yes. And some mistakes there for his forward. Two and one half somersaults. But it's a good die for him from Poland. He got 42.9 score here, 5.5, 5.0, 5 6.0 scores from the judges. For the 5th round of Spain, Alberto Arevalo Alcon, 3.0 level of difficulty for his reverse 2 in one half somersaults. That is a good dive. He was in ninth place and he might lose a few spots in the rankings here. Yeah, some mistakes sure here. The vertical line because is not good. A lot of water splash because of not good not vertical lines so in upon his entry. He got 49.5 score here. 5.5, 5.0, 6.0, 4.5 scores on the judges. The results of the dive after the fifth round. Finally, we are now on the sixth round. For the man of Greece, the Nasius Chiricos, 3.1 level of difficulty for his last dive. Inward two and one half somersaults for this sixth dive, or final dive of the Greece diver. Oh, some mistakes for Chiricos for this last round. But uh, job well done. That's not a good height, and also the vertical line is not good there. He got 32.55 score for this dive. Isaac Bortslein of Norway for his final dive. 2.6 level of difficulty. He must do a very clean dive here. I love that dive, very clean dive, although it's a little bit far over from the flat springboard. He did a forward one and one half somersaults with double twisting. This is a very good dive for Isaac Borsling. He got 50.7 score here for Isaac Borsling. 
for the Great Britain, Ross Stephen Haslam will do a 3.4 level of difficulty and he's inward to and one half somersaults. Ross Stephen Haslam of Great Britain. That's a good dive for the diver of Great Britain. Nice finish for his 1 meter springboard. I love the tightness of the body. That's very high degree of difficulty. 68.0 total score. 5, 6.5, 7.0 scores from the judges. From Germany, we have Alexander. Jan Luby, 3.0 level of difficulty for his final dive. Get a medal. Oh, such a very good dive for his final dive of Germany. Reverse one and one half somersaults with double and one and one half twisting. Good entry and the vertical line is just pretty amazing. And uh, rightly sure, he did a good job though. 60 point with this dive. It's a total of 226 points. He got 60 points here score here. Alexander Jan Duby. Uh, from Czech Republic. In his final dive. It was 14 though. That is a good dive from the Czech Republic. A fair dive for him. The good timing to grab his center from the vertical line, although not that perfect vertical line, some water splash, but although it's, uh, it's amazing. 37.7, I just love his expressions here. From Serbia, we have Nikola Parosic, 2.5 level of difficulty for his final dive. Back one and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting and his final dive. Nikola Parosik of Serbia. I love his dive here. That's a good dive and good one for his final dive. Some crossing of the legs in the air will have a deduction in the execution score. He got 38.75 total score here, four and a half, five and a half scores from the judges. From Austria, Darius Lofty in his final dive, 2.6 level of difficulty for his reverse one and one half somersaults with one and one half twisting from Austria. Beautifully done. Beautifully done for Darius Lotfi of Austria. You see here the reverse one and one half somersaults and one and one half twisting. It's just amazing. Good timing to grab his hands to form the vertical line. Seven point zero, fifty three point three scores from the judges. Six and a half, seven and a half, seven point zero. For Georgian, a lot of mistakes for his dive. I hope he will do a good dive here. Irakli Sakhan Diledsi, 3.0 level of difficulty. That is a good dive after the five dives. This is the best dive that he has. Reverse two and one half somersaults. Georgian, maybe they are just shy to do a good job, but they are really a good diver. I love his expressions. 51.0. 5.5, 6.0 scores from the judges. From Croatia, in his final dive, Matej Neveskanin will have 3.1 level of difficulty. And he will do an inward 2 and 1 half somersaults. Yeah, he was 11th after his first dive. Then made a mistake and kept on being slightly below average. See how he finishes. He does a good job. I love this dive here. It was really a great dive. It's a little bit too late, but I am sure that especially on the one meter event, 
we'll see much more of these young he is a good uh, entry there very clean dive smile on his face from Croatia, he got 55.8 score. Great job, Matej Niveskanin. From Ukraine, Danilo Konovalov will have a 3.2 level of difficulty. That is a very good dive from Danilo Konovalov. He did a forward 2 and 1 half somersaults with one hole twisting. Good time to grab his hands up from the vertical lines. A clean dive for him. Sixty-four point zero scores on the judges. Seven point zero six and a half. Six point zero scores on the judges. Individual score. Jos Mateo Boyer of France in his fifth sixth dive. Final dive. Three point zero level of difficulty. That is a good dive for Jules Mateo Boyer. One and one half reverse somersaults with two and one half twisting. Perfect line, perfect dive for Jules Mateo Boyer, a world champion, world contender also. He got 63.0 score here. Seven and a half, seven point zero point zero scores on the judges. The youngest diver here in European Games 2023, Martinez Lesaucas, 2.6 level of difficulty in his last dive. That is a very secure dive, very clean dive, no water splash. Congratulations, Martinez Lesaucas. And he did a forward one and one half somersaults with double twisting. Uh, still has to work, especially on his, on his strength. If he wants to be like. He got 49.4 scores here. He has a good time to increase his level of difficulty in the coming years. Adrian Abadia Garcia of Spain in his final dive. He, Adrian was in 13. The Spanish diver is finishing his competition with a reverse of two and a half. Oh, some a little bit of mistakes there. Uh, way over the end on the hurdle. Yeah, the way, here. way. Uh, Yeah, he does, it's not, um, the height is not that good, and he doesn't have a good time to grab his hands from the vertical. 36.0 scores for his last dive, 4.0 his individual scores on the judges. Alexis Chandard for France in his final dive, 3.0 level of difficulty. In his reverse, 1 and 1 half somersaults with 2 and 1 half twisting. All he needs now, Alexander, is another mistake by one of the five divers that were ahead of him in that list. I love his dive here such a perfect dive for Alexis Jandard as uh, Adrian also for Alexis Jandard he does a much better job 633 point good jump there and the entry is good part of the competition he did a great great job he got 63 points here score here 7.0 six and a half scores on the judges from Sweden, Elias Lars Pettersson in his final dive, 3.1 level of difficulty. See him again tonight at 6 o'clock. Yeah, he will do an inward 2 and 1 half somersaults. Elias Pettersson. Final dive. Swedish diver is finishing an inward Very good somersault. dive for Elias Lars Pettersson. Um, the top part could have been stronger. He doesn't finish the jump, and that's why he doesn't have a lot of. That's good. Five and a half, six point zero scores on the judges. I'm hearing fifty-one point fifteen scores total. Five and a half scores on the judges here. From Austrian Nikolaj Schaller, three point zero level of difficulty for his final dive. Reverse to and one half somersaults for Nikolaj Schaller of Austria. Good way of recovering from that. That is good. That is a good dive in compared to his first five dives. This is one of his first best dives. Yeah, a little bit of missed hurdle.
It's a good height in the air. 52.5 scores on the judges, 4.5, 5.0, individual scores. From Poland, we have here Andrzej Reszutek, 3.2 level of difficulty for his final dive. Forward, 2 and 1 half somersaults with 1 whole twisting. Forward, 2 and 1 half somersaults, full twist. Oh, that's a good dive from the Poland, Andrzej Reszutek. To make top 12, it was 16 after the big mistake in the previous round of dives. The vertical line is good here and a very clean dive from the Polish. He got 59.2 score here for Andrzej Szczotek for his final dive. From Switzerland, Fabian Denin Stepensky, 3.0 level of difficulty for his final dive. Very good reverse one and one half somersaults with two and one half it, twisting. It seemed to me that again he did not grab his hands and enter it in the water even though he had plenty of time. Let, let's see from here. Yeah, he barely put That them is close a good job for him. Flat on the water and that's I love his dive in his final round. Congratulations with his, uh, from the Switzerland. He seems very, very It's happy. very delighted for his final dive because he did very well. First ever. Six, six, six and a half scores from individual judges. What's the final score? Let's show the final score. <laughs> we did not show. We now have here the Swedish David Matis Ekdal. 3.4 level of difficulty for his final dive. Inward two and one half somersaults. Four degree of difficulty for the Swedish diver who was in 19th place and beautiful, beautiful that's a good dive, dive. strong beautiful uh, dive and such a perfect one he goes over with his legs when getting the water. good pike positions tight uh, muscles and a good entry Sixty one point two scores on the judges, five and a half, six point zero individual scores on the judges here. From Ukraine, Isanislav Ol Ferchik, three point two level of difficulty for his final dive. Oh, indeed, a good dive, of course. Forward to one half summer souls with one whole twisting. Indeed, Ukrainian are very great divers. Yeah. Not enough, actually. Not well executed in compared to his nice. other diver, but it's still a good dive one. A that yeah, some mistakes there. 48.0 score there. Hanislav uh, Oliver Chik. We have now here the Irish in his final dive, Jake Passmore. Jake Passmore will have a 3.6 level of difficulty for his final dive. Alexander Lube. Forward 2 and 1 half somersault with double twisting. In his final dive, One of the two Jake Passmore. The morning forward, two and a half somersault, double twist. And oh, a, a large mistake for Jake Passmore. <laughs> what he happened? He did he well in his. Oh, the height is not good. It doesn't have a good height there. That's why it happened like that. But it's fine. We get congratulations, Jake Passmore, for all your performances. And we are delighted to see you here. 37.8 for that final round of Jake Passmore. Unbelievable, we have a tie. From Georgia, we have Tor Tornik Oni Kashvil. 3.2 level of difficulty. Oh, some mistakes also there. Forward two and one half somersaults with one whole twisting and the pike position is not that perfect some uh, leg separation no vertical lines causing a lot of water splash and uh, it will be a low score 33.6 score from georgia giovanni tochi of france in his la final round final dive in this one meter springboard 3.1 level of difficulty inward two and one half somersaults 
for his final dive, Giovanni Tocci of France. No, sorry. Giovanni Tocci of Italy. Telling France. No, it's not France. It's Italy. I'm sorry, everyone. Sorry, sorry. Close, uh... Nah, that's a very good dive for Giovanni Tocci. Indeed, he deserves. He is a world champion also. So after this last round, probably seven and a half. Very tight muscles, and the entry is beautiful. Great yes. job, Giovanni Tocci. His uh, teammate Sara Jordi Di Maria cheering for him. I love his. Eight, he got 72.85 score here. Very great job for Giovanni Tocci. Moritz Linus Westman of Germany will have 3.6 level of difficulty in his reverse one and one half somersaults with three and one half twisting. With the forward to half. That is a very well done, very clean dive without water splash. See here, the twisting is beautiful, very tight muscles, strong core, and the entry is beautiful. Good vertical lines, perfect dive. He got 70.2 score, total score. 6.5, 7.5, 6.0 scores on the judges. Lorenzo Maragsalia, the 25th diver. 3.2 level of difficulty for his final dive. He will do a forward with 2 and 1 half somersaults with single twisting. Lorenzo Maragsalia of Italy. A very good dive for Lorenzo Maragsalia. He never fails us. He deserves a medal here. Um, please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share this channel. And thank you very much for being here in this uh, last part of the video, for staying here. I love you all. 57.6 score for Lorenzo Maragsalia. The diver from Greece, Jofelos Aftinos. 3.0 level of difficulty for his final dive forward. 3 and 1 half somersaults for his final dive. Last dive for Chofilos Aftinos of Greece. That is a very clean dive for Chofilos Aftinos of Greece. Slow motion of this dive uh, that was uh, well executed, I gotta say, very high. Very well executed. The tack position, revolution is nice. Um, just grabbing the hands is didn't have a good time to grab his hands. 55.5 score total. 6.5, 7.5, 6 0 score. Jonathan Sacco, 3.2 level of difficulty for his final dive. And he will do a forward 2 and 1 half somersaults with single twisting. Jonathan Sacco. Indeed, Jonathan Sacco is a legend. A very good dive. For his competition, just in these last two rounds, because in the beginning it was quite See here, a very good entry and vertical line is enormously beautiful. Jonathan Sacco got 67.2 score here. For Romania, Alexandro Avisalau will have a 3.2 level of difficulty for his final dive. Romanian diver Alexandro, well executed. Uh, well executed for Alexandro Avisalau. He did he did a forward, two and one half somersaults with one hole twisting in this final dive. The vertical line is good, and I really love it. Great job for Alexandro Avisalau. He got 60.8 score here, well deserved, 6.0, 6.5, 7 0 scores from the judges. From Great Britain, James Philip Hetley, 3.3 level of difficulty. And he'll do a forward 3 and 1 half summer souls. It's a very difficult dive. He is such a great contender for the finals. Indeed, a very good dive for the man of Great Britain, for James Philip Hetley. Uh, 
It's just a very good dive for him, a very secure dive for finals. James Philip Hetley got 49.5 scores from the judges, 5.5, 5.0 scores here. Kasper Lyshek of Poland will have a 3.2 level of difficulty for his final dive and he will do a forward 2 and one half somersaults with one hole twisting. Such a great job! That is a very good dive, a clean dive for Kasper Lyshek of Poland. The twisting is good and it's enormously beautiful. And did such a great job. Now there's Stanislav Oliferchuk in 12th place. And uh, uh, Leszek got 56 points your score. Great job from our Poland diver. Alberto Arevalo Alcon of Spania in his final dive. 3.1 level of difficulty. He will do a forward, inward, two and one half somersaults in his final dive. Dive decides either the medals or the access to the final And he will be back here. That is good. Very good job for Alberto Arevalo Alcon of Spania. His inward two and one half summer slots is enormously beautiful. You see here a good height. Revolution attack is good. And also the vertical line is good. Good timing to grab his hands to form the vertical lines. So you just love Alberto Arevalo Alcon of Spania here. He did a 65 point. He had a 65 point one score from the judges. Seven point zero six and a half. He did well scores, and these are the scores standings after the final round. Giovanni Tocci, uh, second place for Germany. Marcus Dins Westman, Great Britain for third position. Ross Esteven, fourth position for France, and fifth position for France. Just Matteo Boyer, Italy in the sixth position. Seventh position for Danilo Konovalov. And we have here um, Ukraine also. Isaac Borstein is in 14th position. Um, is Croatia in the 18th position. Poland in the 20th position. Austria on the 21st position. Switzerland 22, 22nd position. Czech Republic on the 29th position. The Georgia is the 30th position. Overall, this is all a great job. Congratulations for all of your. Great job here. And Serbia, Nikola Parausek on the last position. Thank you very much for watching. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, and share to this channel. And God bless you all.